Okay, so 07 YZ125. I've uh, been testing this bike incessantly and just um, getting to a point where uh, I'm thinking I have an electrical problem. Uh, next step here for me is to go through and shoot everything on um, the electrical system and eliminate uh, everything I can. But uh, if everything tests good and I get to the end, then it's going to be a CDI if it's an electrical problem. If this doesn't fix it, um, which it seems like a jetting issue. Bike starting, it seems to be running fine, uh, and then all of a sudden it gets to a certain range and it cuts out. So I've tried four different needles. I've gone from a 45 all the way down to a 32 and a half on the Pilot. I cannot get it to run well in... Uh, it always is just a little blubbery from a quarter basically to three quarter. And then once I get on the pipe, it uh, just cuts out, at, you know, almost like a rev limiter and uh, you can ride it, but it's dangerous as hell for the way I like to ride. So anyway, um, got in the service manual, uh, going through, figuring out exactly, you know, what it could be looking at this float bowl. Float bowl is obviously a lot more shallow than most. Um, so I rigged this tool. You can buy the tool from Yamaha, but I took an old water pump seal, screwed it in there, and then I've got an air fitting from a, uh, uh, basically a, a, you know, an air hose, put it on there and then just took some, some fuel piping, put it on there and, you know, it works good. So um, the level that we're looking for is nine and a half to ten and a half millimeters above the mating surface so this is a 2007 i believe the operation is the same um for most of the newer yz125 so your mating surface right here um what we're looking for is is something up in that range so um here we go let's see what we got and i just dropped the float level it's getting there. So I was at about 14 millimeters before. Now it looks like we're going to be. I'm going to go ahead and set this at my max range, which is 10 and a half. I'm going to go ahead and set it at 10. So if I measure off the mating surface. Sorry, guys, you know the deal. This is 10 millimeters. I'm right about there. I can go 10 and a half. So I'll probably just live with that. I'm, I'm at 10, so I'm within tolerance. Um, the dripping you're seeing is not, if you've got something coming out of here, even if that does marry up right, then you've got a problem because you can't be in spec and have your overdraft um, or your vent um, venting fuel. So you wanna make sure that this thing is, is upright. And as I look at it upright, I'm definitely within that in nine and a half to 10 and a half millimeter range. So I think I'm good on that side, but basically that's how you set the float level on these things. And uh, it was a different monster. Do this before you get into jetting, because if you have a float issue, then you're wasting your time going back and forth with jetting. Know this is good um, and know that you've got the right float and a, uh, um, a good float, you know, for the most part. So if you're looking at uh, a traditional way of measuring, you know, the float off the mating surface with the float ball off, it's about, this is a seven millimeter measurement right here. So that's gonna give you about nine millimeters, which is gonna put you in spec nine and a half. Um, so you should be good there. So six, I would say six to seven millimeters off the mating surface if you're measuring it. Manually, you're gonna be in spec. If obviously you're venting, then you're too high. Um, but yeah, that's just something I had to figure out. I've been kind of running around trying to figure, get this done today instead of waiting a few days for a tool to come in and here we go.